Oh well, guys, to explain this jaw jacker, this is a piece of brass or aluminum tubing, like quarter inch that I cut down with the Dremel, then widened it out, cut some off the top, made it this way. It'll hold in there. And then these are like the dock runners or whatever you can buy at Walmart. Yeah, dock runner. Then this is inch and a half PVC. If you want to make this, you need two caps, like a I don't know, five foot piece of PVC in case you make a mistake. Two elbows, one T, and then and you can see there's two holsters. He's got one that I didn't shave, but I have another one where it shaves and holds this down in there. It's this way it sets in there so it can't get pulled out at all. And that's what you need. And then some screws if you want it to stay together and not come apart. But the other one does have those screws in there and I was using it. I have a pill bottle for my prescription that I'll stick my lures in and I could shove it in the tube, close it up. Then I could just carry that all in one piece because I just started, we just started ice fishing last year. So carried a little bit of stuff, carried that, a couple tip ups and another rod, which I got my two rods over there. And that's what we do. Instead of paying 80, 60 dollars, that costs all of 10 bucks, maybe, to make in some time. But if you have nothing to do, why not make it yourself? Then you don't have to go buy it. And that's definitely not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Some of them flip, they slide on the ice. That thing's not gonna slide on the ice. What you can't see is there's, on the inside of those caps, it's pulled out and two screws going down as like cleats. And it sits into the ice, so this way it doesn't go anywhere. So if you guys want to make one yourself, go go for it. If you got the time and the patience to do it, and a Dremel, yeah, and a handsaw. Definitely need a handsaw.